Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use the Puppet Warp tool in Photoshop. Hey there, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. In this video, we're showing you how to use the Puppet Warp tool. It's super cool. Basically, you can use it to change shape of objects. As the name suggests, it's kind of like a puppet. So imagine you're the puppet master and your puppet looks like this and you want to maybe make the arm go that way or this arm go that way or the head go like this or that. You can do that with the Puppet Warp tool. Now, a big part of moving an object around is you gotta cut it out of the background first. And we're gonna use the pen tool to do this. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do it real quick. We've already got it cut out to save some time, but if you need any help with the pen tool, just follow the link right down below. We got a great free tutorial on using the pen tool. And we're also providing you with a PSD file with the person already cut out from their background. So you can follow along exactly what we're doing here. We already got them cut out for you. So here in Photoshop, we've got a great image, a levitation photo, but you can kind of tell that maybe the subject was like, like on something. Just the legs are a little bit hanging down here. And I want the legs to be a little bit farther out, like they're actually levitating. So the Puppet Warp tool is a perfect tool for that. So like we said, the first thing you want to do is cut around, like cut out your subject. Now, one of my favorite methods is using the pen tool. And again, we got a free tutorial on the pen tool. So just follow the link right down below. Basically with the pen tool, you just kind of click and drag right around your subject. There we go. Just follow the edge. I'm just going to do this super quick uh, because I already have them cut out to save time. So let's say you just like, you know, wanted to select that part of your subject. You just go right back to the end and then you right click and go to make selection. There we go. Looking good. And then you could just duplicate that to a new layer. Hit control or command J to do that. So for instance, if you wanted to get the check that out, like now I have just the legs. Okay, now I did that super duper quick, but again, I've already done this path. So if you downloaded the PSD, all you have to do is go over to the path dialog here. If you don't see it, just go to window and down to paths. Make sure that's got a checkbox. And we're just gonna click right here where it says legs. Okay, so I made a path called legs. I cut out our subjects legs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click here and I'm gonna to go to make selection right here on the path. So it's turning this pen path into a selection and we're gonna do 1.5 pixels, okay? That's just gonna make the edge a little bit softer. All right, let's go ahead and hit okay. Let's go back to our layers and here you can see we have our background layer. What I'm gonna do is hit control or command J on our background layer. So control or command J is gonna copy whatever's in that selection to a new layer. Control or command J, boop. There we go, and you can see we have layer two now. So let's go ahead and move this. I'm gonna use my move tool, and we can see, look at that. I just have the legs on a new layer. Now I could have done the whole subject, but I really only wanna like move the legs, so that's the only area that I cut out. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit undo. It's gonna pop the legs back where they were. So you can see we have just legs, and if we were on a blank background, it would be just, a, just some floating legs. So now that our legs are cut out and they're on a new layer, we just go to edit and down to puppet warp. There we go. Now we got a few options here. Let's go over these. You got a show mesh option here at the top, which I find is actually kind of helpful. Gives you an idea of what's gonna be going on with your image itself. Now you can change the density. So if you're working on really large areas, you can do fewer points. And if you're working on small, like little detail areas, you can use more points. But in this case, we'll just use normal, okay? Your expansion, you can basically have this set out like how much or how little it's gonna be expanding out from your actual like selection. We're just gonna to go to zero in this case. There we go. And then of course we have our show mesh option. So how do we actually use the tool? Well, you actually just like click wherever you wanna create a point. So let's go ahead and start by clicking here. We'll just put a point right there and that creates like an anchor point. Now, when you think about it, think about kind of like a puppet, right? Like if you wanted to move an arm like this, you would want a, like a pivot point right here, right? So you could move just that part. And then you would want one right here so you could move just that point. So you create points basically at every joint. So if, you know, the wrist, the elbow, this, you wanna create a point each one of these joints and that's gonna help it look more realistic. So if you want something to like pretty much just stay where it is, you can just click like a few times. Boop, I just clicked a few times and then that's like not gonna move. Okay. Good deal. So I want the legs to like, you know, come out in a, in a realistic way. So I'm gonna put a point right here. There we go. Let's just put a point right there, kind of towards the knee. Okay. 
and then we're going to put a point right here at the bottom of the feet. So let's go ahead and hide this mesh. There we go. And we can see we've got our point. So point, point, point. That's going to kind of stick that right there. It's not going to move because I'm not going to move those. You got a knee and then we have here on the foot. So now we kind of like created a bit of an armature. What I'm going to do is just click and drag these points. So once you got your points, you just kind of drag the ones as you need. So let's go ahead and click this. We're going to click here and look at this. I'm just dragging this around and everything else is kind of staying in the same place. Now, <laughs> you're noticing a few things. One, the leg does not bend like that. So let's go ahead and click here, create another point and make sure we, you know, like get that back to where it like should be, right? Because that it was looking pretty, uh, pretty weird there. Okay. Now, if you don't like a point, you can just hit delete on that point. Like this one, maybe it's not in the right place. Uh, there we go. That actually worked a little bit better here without the point in the knee. Uh, I'm going to just try to point the toes a little bit more. So let's create a point back there. And I'm going to try to point the toes a little bit more. There we go. That looks pretty cool. And then you can just kind of click and drag these like however, however you want. Okay, maybe I'll bring the knees down just a little bit. There we go. So you can see you can have some fun. Now if you go like too far, you're going to you know, I mean, obviously you can just do whatever you want, uh, but it's going to start looking uh, pretty unrealistic pretty quickly. So that's actually looking pretty good. Let's maybe just click a point here and bring that up a little bit. All right. Now you can change this at any point in time. So let's go ahead and hit enter. Boom. And there we go. We have our new legs. So let's go ahead and see. Now here's our new legs kind of like going out in that direction. And they look pretty good. You could always use the liquify tool if you need to like change the shape a little bit, but I think this looks pretty good. Now, here's our next turtle is like we have our legs, we cut them out from the background, uh, we warp them into a new place, right? Pretty cool. But you can still see the original legs, right? So what you can do is just create a layer above your background layer. And then the easiest way to do this, honestly, is just to go with like your spot healing brush tool and just like spot heal out the original legs. There we go. So I'll just kind of like you know, spot heal these out. And if you need to fix it up with a clone stamp tool or anything like that, you can do that. Now, I've already done this. So I'm just going to turn that layer on where I've already done this. This is going to be included in your PSD download of the file, right? So you don't need to do this. We have basically the original legs removed. Okay. And now we have our new legs that are spread out and we're pretty much good to go. You can try this a few times. Like this was my first version where I tried it before this tutorial. Uh, so you can see a few different versions. But the nice thing is, because we use the path tool, check this out. Like if you want to do it a little bit differently, uh, let's just make those layers invisible because we're non-destructive here. We always have access to our original layer. If I just want to go back to my paths, okay, and then make another selection out of my legs again, there we go, and then hit Control or Command J, we just have another version of our legs, right? So let's just pop that up there and you can see, you can just kind of do this a bunch of times. You know what, I'm going to even create a copy of this. So I just have like, I want to try this a few times, right? Like, we'll just go to edit, down to puppet warp again. And there we go. Go ahead and lock this in, lock this in place. So there we go. So the kind of the fewer points you have, the more natural it's going to look. Uh, create a point there and kind of like bring that back up. Cool. I think that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and hit that checkbox. And that's good to go there. So you can see I go back to my original legs if we want, or I created a couple different leg variations here. You know what, I think this last one that I did with the fewer points actually worked out pretty well. So that looks cool. It's like a, it's kind of, I think it's kind of accomplishing the levitation look a little bit more because instead of the legs kind of hanging down here, they're kind of out a little bit. And again, if you wanted to change that again, you just go to edit down to uh, puppet warp again create a point there, put one there, and then like, you know, okay, maybe maybe we'll go halfway. We'll meet in the middle. But the reason why this works is because we cut the legs out and we removed the original legs from the original photograph. So that's really all there is to the Puppet Warp. It's such a cool tool. Now, keep in mind, I recommend using the pen tool to cut out the subject. So if you like have any questions about the pen tool, follow the link right down below because we get a great free tutorial on how to use the pen tool. Once you get the pen tool, go ahead and make that into a selection Then duplicate that selection from your background layer. Then you can start puppet warping it around. And then all you have to do is get rid of the original legs using the spot healing brush tool.
And don't forget, you can download the PSD of this exact file so you can follow along and all of the hard work is done for you. Now, if you enjoyed this tutorial, check out flearn.com. We have a fantastic subscription. It's kind of like Netflix for creatives. Get unlimited access to every single tutorial we've ever made. And if you want to get free tutorials every single week, just click on your screen. Boop. You got a subscribe button right there. We'll send one right to you every week. Thanks again. I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone. I'm feeling all right. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we're good. I, I don't know how to dance the robot. You know the robot, it's a dance, but you do it like this, but apparently I have no idea how to do it. <laughs>